Good morning everyone. I'm so sorry that I can't be with you in person today, but I'm delighted to be able to open this very important conference, exploring issues around the harms associated with excessive gambling, the impacts it can have on our loved ones and how we can all work together to share best practice and help reduce stigmatisation. While many people are able to enjoy gambling safely, we know that for some it can be highly addictive and dangerous. We know that debt can spiral. Coupled with a cost of living crisis, we know that can have a serious effect on people's mental health, their relationships, and in some cases can be a pathway to somebody wrongly turning to crime as an answer to their problems. By attending this conference today, you are each helping to raise awareness of the harm that gambling can cause. This is so crucial if we are to protect people and prevent problems from escalating. Gambling related harms are a significant public health issue in the UK but even more so here in our region, where we are above the national average, costing the Liverpool City region more than £28 million each year. And as technology evolves, so too does the gambling industry, increasing the risks to individuals. Companies are finding new, innovative ways to target individuals, with younger age groups being exposed to advertising, which only increases the risk of them being affected in a harmful way, and making it more difficult for those who are vulnerable to avoid it. We also know harms related to gambling often go unrecognised and that means many people who are experiencing issues go without support and that number is only increased when you consider the family members, friends, colleagues and others whose lives are negatively affected by someone else's gambling. In fact it's estimated that for every person who engages in harmful gambling a further six to ten people are negatively affected. That's why today is so vital, to find new and better ways of working so that we can better understand with compassion the issue and offer help to those who may be feeling helpless. Critical to this is taking a whole family approach, which puts the emphasis on the importance of screening, treatment and recovery at the earliest opportunity, reducing harm while also protecting future generations from harm. We're not starting from scratch, there's already lots of positive work being delivered. Through our violence reduction partnership, working in collaboration with Merseyside Police, we are committed to finding new ways to prevent harmful behaviours, identify underlying issues through early intervention and offer greater access to education and treatment for those seeking support. In 2023, in the lead up to the Grand National Festival at Aintree, we ran a public health related campaign promoting the support available through the services provided by BCT. And last September, we worked with Beacon to hold a seminar for more than 150 delegates from different agencies and sectors, all coming together to explore the impacts that gambling-related harms are having on our young people. The VRP have also commissioned Liverpool John Moores University to explore the correlation between gambling-related harms and domestic abuse, which you'll hear more about today. And the specialist Bet You Can Help programme is now being delivered right across the workforce in Merseyside Police and is part of the induction for all custody suite staff and detention officers. These are just some of the examples of the work that we are doing to better understand and support those affected by the harms excessive gambling can have. If we are to protect people and prevent problems from escalating, then events like today are pivotal helping to focus our collective energies on helping people to spot the warning signs and encouraging them to seek support. I really look forward to hearing how today's event helps to break down those barriers so that we can offer those who may feel trapped by their harmful gambling behaviour some hope, a way to a better, safer future for them and for their loved ones. Thank you for giving up your time here today and I wish you all a very productive conference.